I wanted to talk about a gummy I ate. <laughs> yeah, a gummy. Dumbass. I wanted to talk about one, my experience with taking a <clears throat> gummy, which is something I normally don't partake in. My experience with the gummy, the reason I took the gummy, because I have a chronic pain illness. Was there a third thing? Wednesday night, right? I'm in bed. It's already like almost time to go to bed. Me and my kid have already had our dinner. We're both just kind of watching something. I had this gummy. A, a uh, leaf shaped gummy, blue, coated in some kind of sugar. I had it for like at least a year. It like was all hard. <laughs> I was able to chew it up. It tasted so bad. And this wasn't homemade. It came from a company. Uh, someone I, I know that knows a lot about my, my condition gave it to me. Had it for a very, very long time. Huh? And I would forget about it. She told me, you know, keep, save it for a day you need it when you're in a lot of pain, when you need to sleep. <laughs> Forgot all about it. And I was like, dude, this has been in here forever. It's probably less potent. I ate the whole thing. It was nasty. I almost spit it out. Like, I chewed it up quite a bit. And then I almost spit the last little bit out. And then I was like, no. Should have spit part of it out. I had to wash it down with water and basically swallow the rest of it. I couldn't continue chewing. It was disgusting. It's like, come on, this is from a company? Y'all couldn't have made it taste better? So, it starts to kick in. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, feeling just fine. And then it kicks in hard. And I'm, I'm gummied out, bro. I'm so gummied out. So yeah, I was trying to get my son to come to bed. That way I could just go to sleep because that's what I needed. Because I was just too, I was too gummied out. But the thing was, is I was so gummied out. And <clears throat> before I went to sleep, the night I took it, I watched a, a YouTube video, right? I like this genre of, uh, they call them horror stories animated. All right. So they're basically, a uh, true crime. Some of them are based off of actual, uh, true crime things that took place. Some of them are, are made up and they're supposed to be scary stories or creepy stories and they're animated watching this one and the stories just seemed wild just so much more wild than usual just crazier than usual and i'm like so confused i was having such a hard time comprehending because there seemed to be so much going on in all five stories and i was like is it me am i this gummy now am i this out of it is it the video is it really this crazy or is it both? What? So <laughs> I kept backing up on certain parts. Like, did they really just say that? Did that really just happen? Huh? All right. So I woke up the next day. I was still quite groggy, still quite out of it. Not quite so gummied out, but still quite out of it. I still felt it the entire day yesterday. I feel fine today. <laughs> but <laughs> That's how you could tell I don't partake in that stuff. One gummy knocked me out for 24 hours. I woke up the next day and like one of my first thoughts after, you know, getting coffee and oh, I'm so groggy was I'm going to rewatch that video. And I watched it and I was like, holy crap. I think it was both. It was partly me, partly the video. The video really was more wild than usual. Dumbass. So, yeah. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.